guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to today's video. Now, in today's video, we are gonna be working on the Mark II again. We're gonna be fitting a new clutch and we're gonna be putting the gearbox back in. Um, again, like I keep saying, I'm not looking forward to that. So, fingers crossed it goes in a lot easier than the thing it came out. So, we'll see. But what I'm gonna do is I've now got the correct tools to get the, the bolts off of the clutch plate. So we're going to remove them and we're going to take the old clutch off. So we're going to get stuck straight in. Now, first things first, I think it's safe to say that the, uh, the clutch is well overdue. If you look here, there's just nothing on it, no meat whatsoever. You look at this one, compare the two, look, there's just absolutely nothing on that. So, it's well worth, well worth doing. So yeah, definitely worth doing. So we are going to, now let me just show you something quickly. Look at this. Now that. Yeah. Now I've got a sneaky feeling the oil is leaking from this seal here. So I think I'm gonna to have to look into that. I don't know a great deal about them in regards to replacing them, but it definitely is worth replacing. I'm gonna replace that anyway, um, just for peace of mind. So yeah, doesn't look like we're gonna be getting a, a great deal done tonight. Um, yeah, so, but I'm probably just gonna give it all a good clean up in here anyway, if you can see all that there. So I'm gonna put something down on the floor. Just give it a good clean up. Now what I'm gonna do as well, once the gearbox back on, I'm gonna take the sump off. Obviously I'm gonna drain the oil anyway, and I'm gonna change the, the sump gasket as well. So yeah. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna try and clean the flywheel up because I don't think it's just got a lot of gunk and stuff on it, but I think once I clean it up, it will serve me at least until the early part of next year when the engine's coming out anyway, so. Right, okay, so I've given that a bit of a clean up. I reckon we're just gonna reuse that. Like I said, it's only gonna be on the car for a, until the beginning of next year anyway at some point, so I think that should hopefully, I hope I don't eat my words here, but hopefully that's all right. So it just saves saves a bit of money that could be spent on the on turbo in the Mark II, so. Okay, so I've now taken this seal off. This is what I was waiting for. We're now four days later. So we're gonna swap them over. We're gonna get that back onto the car and then we are going to start by putting the new clutch in and getting the gearbox back in.
obviously in the garage in the winter, it's important to stay warm. So I bug out the fire heater. So we're just gonna get that set up. That should keep us warm. Okay, so as you can see, the bolts have had some Loctite on it, so we're just gonna reuse these bolts and reapply some Loctite on them. So, I think we're now ready to get the gearbox back in. So, let's do it. So we're just gonna get the first bolt in position. Now I'll just show you the new uh, engine mount. Where is it? If you look down there, you can see it there. Okay, so we are more or less wrapped up in regards to the gearbox. As you can see, it's now in place, it's all bolted up. There's just a few other little bits that we need to tighten up and stuff, but I will do that off camera. Uh, if we just have a look underneath as well, it's all in place. Uh, now, <clears throat> the drive shafts need bolting on, uh, etc. but I'm gonna do that in the next video because we're gonna be changing the track rod ends on the Mark II in the next video, get it, uh, get it all prepped for its MOT, and then fingers crossed, we'll be able to take it out, um, get some use out of it. Right, so I'm gonna end the video there. We've achieved what we set out to do. Um, once the Mark II's done and out of the way, we can then put all our focus and attention into the Mark IV, so I'm looking forward to finally getting started on that as well. Um, but yeah, that's all for today. Don't forget, if you've liked the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. And if you're new, please consider to subscribe. But that's all for today, guys. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.